assalamu alaikum uh, i am sir ahsan abdullah patel uh, in this video i will discuss the properties of cube roots of unity uh, the sum of cube roots of unity will always be equal to zero that is 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to zero i will give you the proof as we all know 1 is 1 Omega will be minus 1 plus under root 3 iota upon 2 and omega square will be minus 1 minus under root 3 iota upon 2. We will take the LCM that is 2. This will become 2, as 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1 plus under root 3 iota minus 1 minus under root 3 iota plus root 3 iota minus 3 iota will be cancelled. 2 minus 1 and minus 1 will become minus 2. 2 minus 2 will be 0. So we have proved that the sum of cube roots of unity is 0 that is 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. Just like that the product will be equal to 1 itself. That is 1 into omega into omega square will be equals to 1. The proof of it is 1 into omega. What is the value of omega? Minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 2. And the value of omega square is minus 1 minus root 3 iota upon 2. As multiplying with 1 uh, gives no harm to these minus 1 plus root 3 iota minus 1 minus root 3 iota here we will use the formula a plus b a minus b that is a square minus b square so it will become minus 1 square minus under root 3 iota square and 2 into 2 becomes 4 minus 1 square is 1 root 3 square is 3 iota square is basically minus 1 so minus minus becomes plus 1 plus 3 is 4 4 upon 4 it will be cancelled then it becomes 1 so here we have found found out that omega cube is equal to 1 so we have studied two basic properties that the sum of cube roots of unity is 0 and the product of cube roots of unity is 1 sum means 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. We have some derived properties here. 1 plus omega is minus omega square because here omega square is plus, there it will become minus. 1 plus omega square is minus omega and omega plus omega square is minus 1. We have discussed the properties of omega and omega square that is the properties of cube roots of unity. Now we move forward to some other properties as well. The properties which are between omega and omega square. That is, these are square of each other. How is that so? If we square omega, it will become omega square. So simple. But if we square omega square, that will become omega power 4. We have to break it into omega cube into omega. As we all know that omega cube is 1. Therefore, by putting the value of omega cube equals to 1, then omega square, square of omega square becomes omega. So we all got to know that these are squares of each other. That is omega square is omega square and omega square then whole square is omega. They are conjugate of each other. How is that so? As we all know that omega having value minus 1 plus under root 3 iota upon 2 and omega square value is minus 1 minus under root 3 iota upon 2. Conjugate of numbers means that if a number is having plus with the imaginary sign then its conjugate will have minus sign that means it is the conjugate of this number. Just like that. Here omega square is having imaginary value equals to minus root 3 iota 
then the conjugate of this value will become plus root 3 iota. So here we got to know that omega and omega square are conjugate of each other. Just like that, these are inverse of each other. How is that so? If we want to calculate the value of 1 upon omega, we will just multiply and divide with the conjugate. That is the conjugate of omega is omega square. So we use multiplication. That is multiply with the conjugate. Conjugate of omega, omega square, multiply and divide. In the numerator, it will become omega square. And then denominator, it will become omega cube. As we all know that omega cube is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 upon omega is basically omega square. To be precise, the multiplicative inverse of omega is omega square. Just like that, omega square inverse can be calculated in the same way. That is, we will multiply and divide with the conjugate of omega square, that is omega. So, in the numerator, it will become omega and denominator omega cube. As we all know, omega cube is 1. Therefore, the inverse that is to be precise, multiplicative inverse of omega square is omega. So, here we study the basic properties of cube roots of unity that is sum is equal to 0, some further detailed properties and another property that omega cube is basically 1. If omega cube is 1, then we all got to know that omega 6 will always be 1, that is omega 9 will be 1. So we here got to know that the multiples of 3, that is the multiples of 3, whenever put in the power of omega, it will give the answer 1. Why is that so? Because omega cube is 1. Some more properties we have studied. What are the properties? That these are square of each other. These are conjugate of each other. These are inverse of each other. Enough for this topic. For more videos, you have to subscribe to my channel. That is Sarasthan Abdullah Patel. Assalamu alaikum.